Hello and welcome to our collective worship. Let me introduce you to, if you haven't met him already, Ignatius, our church mouse. Now, most people don't know that Ignatius is mad about fishing. Every Saturday when he's finished sweeping the leaves out of the church porch, he gets his fishing rod out of its hiding place up the tower, puts on his wellies and an old fishing hat and goes down to the river. And there he is all day staring at the water and he often doesn't come home until the TV shows the football match. Well, one Saturday, there he was, sitting there, absolutely still on the bank, with ten packets of crisps still unopened, and all of a rush, up galloped Arthur the camel. He's called Arthur because he ain't half an awful camel. Oh, Ignatius, he said, as he clattered to a standstill. I don't know what to do. The council have offered me a new home, but it's miles away and I've got to go and see it this afternoon. Can you come with me? I do need some help. Oh, afraid not, old man, said the mouse. Any other time I'd, I'd love to come, but well, I'm in the middle of fishing now. So Arthur went away. Later that afternoon, when there were only five packets of crisps left, Ignatius saw a peculiar shape coming towards him through the water. My goodness, he thought, it must be the cassock and onion flavouring in the crisps. It's gone to my head. To his amazement, there came out of the river his old friend, Harvey the octopus. Oh, Ignatius, said Harvey as he dripped all over the crisps. I'm so glad I've caught you. My mum's tied herself in a knot and I don't know what to do. Can you come and help? Well, what a pity, said Ignatius. Any other time I'll be round like a shot, but, well, right now I'm busy fishing. So Harvey went away. As the sun was going down, and Ignatius had just one bag of curry and woodworm crisps left, there came through the gloom a long, pointed, furry nose. And just behind the nose, Harold the Mole. Oh, Ignatius, said Harold, I thought I'd find you here. I'm feeling a bit fed up tonight on my own. So I thought I'd just see if you fancy some cocoa and a couple of juicy ant burgers. Oh dear, said Ignatius. I'm afraid it'll have to be another night. You see, as soon as I've finished fishing, I've got to go back and see the big match on TV. So Harold went away. When it got to ten to ten, Ignatius packed up his fishing rod and he ran back to see the match. He hadn't caught a single fish. Serve him right. Next morning, Ignatius was patrolling as usual under the seats where the choir lady sat, trying to decide which ankle to bite first. Suddenly, he heard the magic word, fishing. He stopped. He listened. And it was a story about two brothers who went fishing one day. When they were in the middle of their fishing, Jesus came and said to them, Can you come with me? I need your help. And straight away they dropped everything and went with him. Ignatius felt. He remembered the day before and how his three friends had asked him to help them, but he just carried on fishing. So the following Saturday, 
he made an amazing decision. He decided not to go fishing, but instead to go and see the people he'd let down the week before. He'd remember now to help people when they asked for help, not when he felt like it. So now I'm going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, make us ready to help other people, not just when we feel like it, but when they ask for our help. Amen. Thank you for watching. Do keep an eye on the parish website, massandparishes.org, children's activities for more um, collective worships and also pram praise and Jesus and me. And also you can see some of our videos on our YouTube channel, massamparishes.org. So God bless you and keep you.